What's up guys, it's Kim here. So I used to make YouTube videos, I made vlogs, I made beauty videos, and recently with the current lockdown, I have been getting back into watching YouTube videos and actually buying some products too. Um, so I stepped away from YouTube because I was so not into the consumerism side of things and I wanted to completely try and like be very minimal with what I was owning and like I was a bit disappointed with how much I used to spend and how much I used to get sucked into these beauty vo YouTube videos and I just did not want to be a part of that and like influencing other people and also I was really busy studying and getting my degree and my job as well it doesn't really give a whole lot of time for um YouTube videos however I've been feeling so nostalgic going back and watching like videos again and like even my own ones I went back and I was like I wonder what my channel was actually like and looked at it from a different perspective of me like as a 31 year old rather than me as a 24 year old and it was so sweet and cute YouTube was such a nice time of my life like, I just felt happy to be creating content and um, being creative uh, and I think creativity is really important so I thought in true YouTube nostalgia fashion i would do a haul i used to love making haul videos i have changed a lot like this legit is my makeup collection sitting right here um so i don't purchase too much and i got rid of a whole lot of my collection but what i use i like actually use and i use up um and that's the difference between me then and me now and i do keep a very minimal collection but actually um as I've gotten older, my skin has changed and I've been trying a whole lot of stuff out um, and I've like, I justify what I've purchased. I have gone overboard, don't get me wrong, and it's not all beauty, but let's do a haul video. So I've still got two orders that are meant to arrive. One is today, so I might just come back and edit that, but I'm actually so sh ashamed of myself that I don't want to put everything out there. What I've got is pretty exciting. Now the first thing, because literally I love shopping off Mecca, so I went onto the Mecca website out of boredom and I saw this set. It's the Drunk Elephant Hall Acid. Very cool container, like into that. Skincare has been the one thing that I love. Barely ever wore makeup while I in my minimalism. I went like a year without conditioning my hair. Um, so I started doing that again. Uh, everything was very, very minimal in what I was doing um, because I wanted to cut down on what I was using. But skincare is one thing that I know I used every single day and I love it and it actually made me feel good. And then I've started to fall back in love with makeup again. I think I had such a bad relationship with makeup after feeling like I was so caught up in the consumerism of it that I just sort of was neglected it. But now I'm falling in love with it again and it's really exciting because makeup makes you feel beautiful, you know? I really wanted to get into like the acid exfoliants. This was a good set I thought to start off with. So the first thing is the TLC Glycolic Night Serum. This stuff like refines and retexturizes your skin. It's a little bit burny. Don't put it near your eyes um, if you've never used a glycolic acid, which you probably have. I feel like I'm really late to the train on this, but um, yeah, that was the first thing. So I've been using that like twice a week. I've had it for about a week and a half. It's so far so good. Like I'm just trying to get my hormonal acne under control and like work on my fine lines and just you know, all around better skincare. The other thing it comes with, which is in my fridge, which I just can't be bothered running and going to grab it, but it's the C Firm Day Serum. So it's like a vitamin C serum, um, which firms and brightens. So it, there, there it is on the box. Um, so I use that in the morning before I put anything else on and it's so nice. So I'll be like making my coffee and my vitamin C serum is like nice and cold and I put that on my face and it's just pure joy. Um, after I used the TLC night one, I used the F Bum Electrolyte Water Facial Masik, Masik, Mas, Masik, I don't know, Hydrant Soak and Revive. So this is meant to be used in the evening time. Um, it's just like a moisturizer, final step of the day, like it. And then finally I got a retinol cream, which is to reboot and smooth. So I've been putting this two to three times a week, 
no more than that. Um, just while I'm starting out, like, because this is fresh baby acid free skin at the moment. So I'm just dipping my toes in the water and enjoying it. The next order that arrived was one off Sephora, and I don't think I'd ever ordered off Sephora before. Just Mecca. What showed up did surprise me a little bit. This is what it looked like. Probably the best picture. Like, it's this, this little thing. I thought it was going to be bigger. So it's like a little case. It comes with the soap. It comes with a little pad that you can use to wash your beauty blender. And then it comes with this little teeny tiny beauty blender. And I can't remember my beauty blenders being this small. But my beauty blender was so old that I was like, replace it, let's do this. So yeah, um, I haven't used this one yet. I was saving it for this video. But it'll be interesting to see how much bigger it gets. Apparently it does get bigger. But I just was not expecting it to be this small because I don't remember my old ones being this tiny when I got them. The next thing I got, which was a bit of a cult classic back in the day, and I always wanted to try it. And that's the other thing, is like, I feel like back in the day I could not afford the stuff that I wanted. And it's nice to be earning in a way that I can treat myself with this stuff, but also I don't want to overspend. But anyway, so I finally got the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. I felt like this was making a little bit of a comeback on YouTube lately. So I was like, ooh, that's right. I really want to try that. Um, I have used it. I'm not using it on my lashes today, but I like it. It's just like a real simple wand. It makes your lashes nice and black, lasts all day. It doesn't flake on me because sometimes I have that problem with mascara. Is that it ends up flaky, like the Better Than Sex one. By Too Faced, that one always didn't work for me. This one does, so I like it. So then I got another Mecca order. And so first of all, I got a NARS Laguna. I had this back in the day. I liked it. I liked bronzing powder. My old, my, the only bronzer that I use is Hula by Benefit. And it's in like that yellow case there. It's in like one of those sets. And so I can't take it to the gym. So I never end up bronzing. Um, and normally like I go to the gym after school drop off and get myself ready for work there. But in case you have been under a rock and you don't know what Nars Laguna is, let's get it out. I haven't even opened this yet. Ooh, the packaging's changed. It's still, still square now. It used to be kind of rounded. Interesting. And it just looks like this. It's just a nice, just a nice bronzer and it's got a big mirror on it. I just, this packaging seems so different to me, but that's exciting and it's all orange. And then I got two of the Afterglow Lip Balms from NARS. So this is a bit of me. I'm a lip balm girl with color to it and I am so okay in this lane. Like, uh, here's me because I've got lipstick still. I still enjoy lipsticks and I like wearing them. However, I don't wear them to work, but I like having color on my lips and it's just such a debacle in my life. I just, I would hate for it to go all over my face. And also my lips are getting older. Like I'm growing, I'm maturing. So I've been buying lip products that I feel are a little bit better for my lips, like keep them a little bit healthier. So if I do want to wear a matte lipstick, I can. Anyway, I got two colors. I got Fast Lane and Wicked Ways. It's just like this cool case. Um, the color looks like that. I'll pop it on so you can see what I mean. This one is not my favorite. I've tried them both. I like the other one much more. See what I mean? It's just like a nice, simple, balmy, and it doesn't bleed. They sit on your lips nicely, and you do have to reapply them, and I think that's one of the beautiful things about lipstick is there's nothing more feminine than getting your lipstick out and redoing it during the day. I just love that. That's why I love lipsticks, you know? And this is foolproof. This color, I love. This is Wicked Ways. Like in the tube, it looks a little bit like, oh yeah, that is a bit of me. I have always been a purple girl, a purple lipped girl at heart. I'm just gonna chuck this over the top of the other one because I don't think it'll matter, but. Oh, that color love this color. I just can see myself wearing this every single day until it runs out. The other thing I purchased was the Tatcha, the Kisu Lip Mask, which comes in a little box like this. 
It's expensive for a lip balm. My lips are crap. And the other thing is, I'm at this point in my life where I want products to feel luxurious on my face. I don't want to feel like I'm just using a $2 lip balm. Like, I want to I, like, I wanna treat myself. It's like the reminder that I deserve this stuff. Because that's where I'm at in my life. So it's just this lip balm. I don't know if you've seen Touch of stuff before, but they always come with like a little paddle so you can apply things. I've got a moisturizer and like did that once and I was like, oh, it's going to take too long. But yeah, it's just this like jelly like lip balm i've used it a couple times at night and it's so nourishing so if you were going to wear lots of dry lipsticks and you worry about like your lips being too chapped and things like that this is nice i really like am enjoying that and i don't expect anything less from tatcha like I, I like their brand they're a luxury skincare brand thing that came from sephora so i did another sephora order yes i did um so i got the it cosmetics cc cream this one arrived yesterday just I don't know if you haven't heard of it here it is because I've been watching a lot of skincare stuff and it's all about the SPF and you know what makes a lot of sense I probably neglected SPF it is like a golden rule of thumb in my, all my foundations they have to have SPF in it but this is SPF 50 which I was like yes can get amongst that um it's color correcting, full coverage cream, hydrating, anti-aging concealer. So it's like, I've got it on today. It's the first time I wore it. It only arrived yesterday and I like it. It's like a nice foundation. It looks good. You can apply things over top of it. Luckily, it this um, matches my skin tone enough. It, I got light, which I was worried would be a little bit too dark, but it works okay. I'm happy. Um, so yeah. Wear your SPF, guys, because aging is real, and I can tell you. Speaking of SPF, I also got the Ultraviolet SPF 50 Queen Screen Lightweight Sunscreen Broad Spectrum, blah, 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 blah. Comes in this little bottle. It's got, like, this little squeezy, and you, like, squeeze it out onto your hand. I'm not going to do it right now, but that's how it is and which is so weird for a sunscreen um i don't think i would pick this again i used it again today so i'm like hmm, spf 50 boom boom double whammy um but this is good on your face like it, i put it on under my makeup i left it for about 10 minutes before i applied my makeup and it was fine um so if your foundation doesn't have spf in it this would be reasonable to try i didn't get the other one which was in a tube because it looked like it was tinted and I was like, what if it doesn't match my skin tone? There was only one option. So I went for this. Um, but I just don't know how I'm going to go with getting the product out with this little thing forever. Because, yeah, who knows? But started it. I like sunscreen. So I'm going to use that for sure. Especially as we're coming into the warmer month. Thank you, Lord. And then I got just a little mini of the Benefit Roller Lash. Um... To be honest, I didn't need two mascaras. I just figured that this one would go in my gym makeup bag and it's small. Not like I know when I'm gonna be going back to the gym, but I use it today and I really, really like it. It's like so separating and lengthening, but I just got the small one. You don't necessarily need a massive one because they run out so quick. So that's my train of thought. Anyway, that's what I got in this little Cool, and I might come back when my um, next Mecca stuff arrives. Guess what just arrived? So the first thing that was in it was like the sample. I didn't talk about the samples from the other orders because like samples are samples. So it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick, um, which is just a stick of primer. I don't actually own primer because I don't deem it as a necessary makeup item, but I mean, Everyone can make their own opinion up on that. I think moisturizer works just fine. Like my makeup has stayed all day with no primer. So, but I mean, fun to try. Thanks so much, Mika. Um, and then I got the Too Faced Smooth and Conditioning Hangover Pillow Balm, Ultra Hydrating and Nourishing Lip Treatment, infused with mineral rich stardust. Ooh, sounds fancy. Um. As you can tell by what I've purchased for my lips, it, I'm just into lip conditioning. This is like way bigger than I was expecting. It's a nice little doe foot applicator. I won't put it on my lips because, sorry, Scout's playing with the box in the back, background. I've tried to move him 
Tried to give him other areas of the house, but this is just a happening thing, so I hope it's not too distracting. I did get a lipstick. Um, I got the, I think this is pronounced Shantikai. It's their lip veil. It's the elephant ones in the shade Moby. So yeah, this one here supports the Space for Giants non-profit based in Africa is taking mon monumental approaches to protecting endangered elephants and other large mammals across the continent. So, um, yeah, by buying this, it's got a little elephant on it. Ooh, here's the shade. We bit more. It looked, I saw it on a video, I was like, it looks good and nude, but actually she was a lot tanner than me. Should I try it on? Actually. This is quite a good shade for me. I'm not mad at it. It feels nourishing, it feels good. Not sad about this color. I probably did have shades like this before I colored my lipstick back, but. It's for the elephants. Not sad about it. Oh, and it's magnetic. Ooh, like it. And finally, I got the Hourglass uh, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I saw this and I thought it looked really pretty, so I got it. Even though I had the one of the um, Hourglass pressed powders and I, it, like it just looked cakey on me, so I thought I would give this veil a try because I like Hourglass, it's a nice brand. Wow, it's gold. So yeah, that'll be interesting to try. I'm going to try these products and I'm going to talk about them on camera and if there's anything that you want to know more about just let me know but this has been fun um I'll save the other stuff for maybe another haul who knows who knows but um it's been fun chatting with y'all cut back to the other exit that I made thank you guys so much for watching today I hope you feel nostalgic watching another one of my little haul videos so cute I was watching all the Kim old hauls and I was just like, oh, she's so sweet. But also, honey, please go save your money and don't spend it on that makeup that you're going to eventually throw away. But um, we live and we learn. So don't go out shopping for any of this stuff if you don't need it. But if you do need it, so far I'm liking things. So um, yeah, if you would like another little video, we can arrange that. I might do like skincare or my current makeup phase or like I thought it would be cool to see like what has stood the test of time? What do I still use? What was saved and spared in my decal? Like that would be a pretty cool video, right? Anyway, might see you again soon. If not, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. It's nice to see you guys again and give you guys a whole video and don't count on seeing me anytime regular soon, but who knows? We're, we're, we're in a lockdown, so we're bored and we're at home and making videos. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or anything like that because, I don't know, this was all just for fun. It's just a fun time. Bye!